the color display, one of the greatest advancements in screen technology. But how do they work? And could you make one in Minecraft? I believe if you can think of it, you can build it. This project started like most of my projects start. Do research. First, I looked if anyone had ever done anything like this, and I didn't find much, which was both good news and bad news for me. Good because it meant I could make a video about it, and bad because it might just be impossible. What I did find was a map display made 10 years ago by Seth Blink. His display could save 4 different images and cycle between them, but you could only see the image on a map. There have been advancements in this technology, for example there are multiple YouTubers now that made versions where every pixel is controllable, but you can't see the image without a map. Then there is this video of a very awesome display which can cycle between 3 images, which is visible to the player. I also remember seeing a design that used shulker boxes as pixels a few years ago on reddit. I sadly can't remember who made it, but placing a lot of shulkers can be very laggy and they can't be seen from far away. What I want is a display that is vertical instead of horizontal and it would be nice if it can switch between saved images but it's not a requirement. As long as it can show one image and every pixel can be controlled individually. In real life color displays mix the light of three colors. Red, green and blue. They can make different colors by changing the intensity of each color. But this isn't an option in Minecraft since redstone lamps only have one color and intensity. So back to the drawing board. I thought about how I could make this work in Minecraft for a long time, but I just didn't get any useful ideas. So I calmly put the project on hold and started working on the next one. But then, suddenly, while watching Netflix, an idea hit me. What if I use concrete powder to build an image with a piston wall behind it? Then the pistons could push the concrete forward of a ledge and it would fall down. Then I could build the new image behind the existing image while it is still there and when the new image is done building the old one falls down. Now we can also put a piston wall at the bottom and easily save 12 frames just by pushing the concrete forward. Now we only need to find a way to bring the concrete powder back to the top and we have a very awesome image cycling device. Thingy. The first design I tried pushed the sand up with a piston. Then the piston retracts and before the sand can fall a sticky piston pulls in another block of sand. This process can't push up more than 12 blocks so it needs to be stacked over and over again to go over further distances. At first it seemed to work fine but little did I know that this would be a huge waste of time. While observing everything worked fine but as soon as the area got unloaded or you quit the world and loaded it back in again the whole thing would break. I needed a different way to transport the concrete powder back up. And then I remembered a different project of mine, the Infinity Lift 2, whose tutorial is coming out very soon. For that I modified an elevator by El Mango to stop and start at every floor. But we don't need that for this project, so we could just use the original. It can shoot up mobs and other entities such as minecart, so I think it should work on concrete. Some modifications later and great success. This is just so satisfying to look at. I could look at this for hours. Okay, now how do we tile this? Well, one piston can push 12 blocks, so 6 slime blocks and 6 sand blocks should work. Nope. Okay, I guess we just use one elevator for each block then? Nope. I guess if we offset every lift then it might work, but I don't really like the idea of using that many elevators. It would be very expensive and the whole thing is gonna be laggy already and that will not improve it. I guess I have to make my own slime elevator. After hours of testing I finally got it to work. Then I expanded the display to 64 by 64 and this is how it looks now.
Well, that has to be the most satisfying thing I have ever built in Minecraft. This design can save up to 14 images, but it's very easy to modify it, so it can save even more. But I'm not even done yet. To turn this into a PC screen, I need to be able to control the color of every individual pixel, which was actually easier to make than the concrete lift. Also, using the individual pixel mode is not at all laggy, unlike the uh, image cycle mode. And that's what these rails are for. To select the pixel, we first put in the Y value in binary right here. Then the piston wall gets activated up to that value and all we need to do then is to drop in the correct color where we want it to be. And then activate the piston wall entirely to automatically drop pixels in from the top I created this block storage. Which works by simply having concrete powder stacked on top of each other and then pistons pushing it forwards like this. Then at the back you can select the color and the X value. And that means you could connect it to a redstone computer and do what I'm doing here manually, completely automated by a computer program. With the image cycle mode you can already play little GIFs like this, but if you connect it to a redstone computer you could play actual movies. Well this turned out way better than I could have ever imagined. By the way, I also made a display that uses water and lava. Watch this video if you want to know more about that. The next thing I will do is build a graphics card for this display so I can connect it to the redstone computers. Thanks for watching, subscribe and bye! <laughs>